And my captain, my staff, he's telling me, oh, we should ask for more. I said, how can you ask for more? I said, how much more can you get? <laughs> so, so the staff, you know, in the third quarter said, uh, you know, at the end of the third quarter, uh, when we were doing quite well, they said, well, I think we should set a target at $12 million. I said, $12 million? I said, I, that's putting too much pressure on our supporters. I don't know where they're going to come from. I don't know where they're going to get the money. So what? Where are we? We may. <laughs> <laughs> Good chance we will have raised um, 20 million dollars in this last quarter. That's oh, yeah. it, it's totally bewildering to all of them, sometimes to myself. It's, it's totally bewildering. They, they come and the other members of Congress, how do you do this? Tell me what you do. What is the technique? You know, and uh, they'll, they'll want to know how, what is this? How did we harness the internet? I said, no. I didn't harness the internet. I don't know that much about it, the internet. I said, the internet, we put our message on the internet, it spread, and then the individuals who liked that message harnessed us and came together. That's the magnificence of the internet, and you have led the charge, and I thank you very much for it. This has just been great. that's been great about uh, the many rallies that we've had around the country has been the diversity of the people that come together in the campaign. And uh, that, that to me is the most reassuring that the message is correct. Uh, I approach this, as most of you know, as all of you know, is that the most important thing we do is we follow the rule of law. We follow the Constitution. That is the most important thing that we Amen. do. Fortunately for us, the Constitution is a good Constitution. Not something that should be overly rigid, because with these change, there's a way of changing it. But the rule of law is so important, because if we don't follow that, if we skip around and use it only when it's convenient for us, there's nothing left to it. Unfortunately, that's about where we are today. The executive branch, and the judicial branch, and the legislative branch has very little respect for the Constitution. That should be our goal, is to restore respect and to follow the Constitution. Yeah. The very, very exciting uh, part of all this is that when we do that, and we talk about freedom, we talk about not telling other people what to do with their lives. We, we don't want to instruct people. You can't hurt people, you can't take their property, and you have to mind your own business. But other than that, people can use their lives as they so choose. And then people become less threatening to each other. Same way with the money. When you get to spend your own money, you don't have to go to Washington clawing away to try to get some of your money back. Today, exactly the opposite of what freedom creates is what we have today. We have a system of government and an economic system that is dwindling dwindling in wealth and we're hanging on by our fingertips because uh, our system doesn't produce like it used to. Productive jobs have gone overseas. Our prosperity appears to be uh, rather well still on the surface, but it's all borrowed money. It's borrowed money and it's, it's not a little bit. We, we send the money to Washington, we pass the money out, and everybody flocks to Washington fighting over this pie that is shrinking. And that's why people are getting rather annoyed and, and rather concerned. But you know, we, we overtax the people, and then we uh, then we overborrowed, and there's still not enough money. So what are we, what are, what are we allowing our government to do? Well, if you need some money, just go ahead and print it. It's okay, print it. And, and the dollar won't go down in value. There'll be no inflation. Don't worry about it. And then they tell me that that monetary policy is complex. You know, doesn't it make a lot of sense? If you print a lot of money, it's going to lose its value. It's not too complicated. And uh, once young people understand this and realize the significance of all this, I am really impressed that so many young people agree with the Constitution that there is no authority for the Federal Reserve System, and there's good reason we ought to get rid of the Federal Reserve System.